Hello, my name is Neil Legg and I'm a crime scene investigator. In the general public you'll probably uh, see us on the TV in our white suits and our masks and our gloves and our job really is to recover forensic evidence. First of all we have what we call trace evidence, so you might have broken glass or paint, other debris, uh, footwear impressions left by offenders uh, and then we'll move on to uh, other stuff such as fingerprints, DNA uh, in the form of blood or saliva. Once we bring items back, it is possible for us to process some of them to see whether or not there are any footwear impressions. And we've got a machine here called an ESDA, which basically will develop those shoe marks on that paper. So you might get bottles, cans, other items like that. We've got uh, this facility here where we can fingerprint those items using various powders. So if we get items that are bloodstained or extremely wet, and we need to preserve them forensically, it's important that we dry them as soon as we can. So we basically use this drying cabinet to do that. I've been in the job for 30 years, started off as a police officer, but I've been with the CSI department for 24. But if you wanted to join now, uh, probably the best way that you could do it would be to first of all get some sort of forensic qualification.